Hi everyone, welcome back to job one for all. Let's continue the primitive types class and now we are going to talk about the rest of them. So let's write all the variables here. So we have int and uh, we can also create a long. We can use a name here called the number. I'm going to explain what does this mean. Uh, then we have here float, float number or can Give another thing. salary float uh, double salary double. My creativity is not helping me today. And then we can give here boolean. So boolean is a special case. Uh, you will see that all of the others they are uh, accepting numbers, but boolean you can only use true or false. Uh, some languages you can use zero or one, but in Java it's true or false, and they are keywords. So if you try to create uh, a variable where the identifier is a keyword, you will get an exception. So you cannot do this, for example. So this is why we call reserved words because we cannot use as identifier, but we can use here true value true and I will press ctrl D to duplicate and I will change the name here to false value and I will give here the name false so I'm just creating variables and you will see short uh, use here age short uh, I can use oh well that's a pretty old uh, 29 and then uh, what else byte and we can give here byte let's use here something interesting age byte and i will give here the value 39 and then the last one character char and uh character and this is special because you have two options either a number or a letter in single quotes so i can use here for example w Okay, let's talk about these primitive types for a moment. As you can see, with uh, taking boolean outside, everything else we can use number, including character. So, for example, I could use here uh, a number called 95, and it will work. And all the primitive types, except boolean, you can have numbers in it. So what does that mean? So well, how, how many numbers, how, how long a number can go inside these uh, variables? Well, it depends how much is the space that Java is going to allocate for that. For the primitive types, we also have like a predefined values that will say, for example, a byte can only store one byte, uh, double can store eight bytes and so on. So uh, it's quite difficult to remember. And honestly, I don't remember all of them. You can always rely on your friend Google. Uh, we have this table, nice table here that tells you each one of the primitive types and the size that they can uh, store inside. So let's understand how uh, this works. I'm not going to the all binary things uh, because it's pretty boring. I will just give you a nice example using byte. Basically, one byte is equal to eight bits. In general, when we talk about programming, everything is just bits. For the computer, it's either uh, one or zero. And it's true or false. It's on or off. And when we say that we can store minus 100, uh, 128 or positive 127, this is what they are saying. Let's use here a calculator from Windows. And here, if you go into Programmer and uh, you select Decimal and you type 127 and then you click over the binary, you will see that we have 7 bits. Now, if I type Decimal, I clean 128, we will see here that we have 8. But this is important. Since we are talking about positive numbers, the positive the kind of the plus it will take one bit that's why you cannot have 128 uh, positive but you can have 128 negative so if we try this on java 
it will give us an exception. So for example, I'm saying here, uh, what is the byte? That I can type 127, it will work. Why? Because I can put 127 in bit inside my memory. But if I try to use 128, Java will say, hey, hold on, this is way bigger than I can uh, store. So basically, you would like to use an integer value. And you can see the integer value here, that uh, the value is four bytes. So this is the number that you can put inside an integer value. So integer and long, uh, the only difference between them is uh, the size. They are both for integer uh, values, integer numbers. Now, if you want to store decimal numbers, actually int, short, long, and character, they are all for integer values. And float and double, they are for uh, decimal values. The difference between float and double is the size. And byte short, int, long, and character uh, is also the size, but they are all for integer values, not uh, decimal. So this means that I can, for example, for float, uh, if I type here dot zero, we will get one a small error, and that is a reason for that. If you do the same here, I would just use the same number to show you. If I do this right here, oh, it will work. And why is that? Uh, because Java, by default, once you type directly into the code, when you write right here, like we did, the a decimal value, Java will understand that this is a double and we are going to talk about the details of uh, casting later but if you want to force and say no java i know that this guy is not double it's a float number you can use the letter f uppercase lowercase will work uh, the same way but the convention says you should use uppercase so if you want to be Explicit, you can also use D to represent this decimal number as a double, but honestly, you don't have to. So when you don't type, it's the same as you are doing this, and you have a small problem. And this problem is because, hey, the double number, it uh, requires way more space in memory. It requires eight bytes, but the float number requires, uh, only can get four bytes. This means that if you have a big number that's taking like five bytes, What's going to happen if you try to put here? So it's basically, imagine you have a bucket of water and you have a glass. And if you try to put the bucket, the water inside the bucket inside your glass, what's going to happen to that water? Kind of the same uh, thing that's going to happen here. So just use uh, F. But let's uh, not do that. Let's go really slow here. And let's go back to the byte. So we were talking about the byte and we can have here minus 128 and it will work and now going to the character so as you see here the character it can have a number and this number is uh, representing the ask table so america standard code for information exchange basically if i type there 95 i'm getting the underscore uh, let's use for example 87 the decimal number 87 will print W, so 87, and now I'm going to duplicate the line 15, Control D, and I will just print here the character, but I don't want to type the whole word character, I will just type a little bit, and then I will press Control Space, and I will press Enter, and we can have the value here, so Control Shift F10, and we have here the letter on the ask table, so we have two options, either like this, or typing a word, a letter, sorry, in uh, single quotes, between single quotes. We have another option that's using the Unicode table, but for that, uh, there is a, quite a syntax. It's a backslash U as unicorn, and then the number. Uh, for example, 0041, I want to print A. 0041, Control Shift F10. And we have the letter A. So basically, as you can see, everything in the end uh, uh, for the primitive types are just numbers. And the size of the primitive values is what matters for the primitive types. Basically, these days you don't have to worry about the size that much. So for example, 
uh, let's say you are creating a system that will have to store the age. Would you like to use byte? What happens if someone is trying to register in your system and they, for some reason, they uh, live above 127 uh, years? So your program will face quite a, a struggle. Uh, and recently, one example that I can give you is the YouTube. I don't know if you remember, but the Gangnam Style video, they, they had a problem exactly like that because they, when they declared the variable for the likes, the size could hold all up to maybe a, a little bit less than 1 billion. And so many people were liking and uh, the value just exploded. They had to change the type of the, the variable that was uh, holding the, that are still holding the, the likes. So this is just uh, an interesting example. So you have to think about uh, how your system will behave in maybe five, 10 years, uh, depending on what you are building. So we have enough memory these days. It's not something that you should worry about, but try to use the, the right type for the, the things that you are developing. So I think this is enough information for one video, quite long, and I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye.